I am so proud to be here today at the headquarters of the Boy Scouts of America and standing alongside such fine people that are here to indicate their support for the Boy Scouts standing on their current policy of moral principles and timeless values. Amen. 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 This issue is a defining issue in our country, in our state, in our society. I am so thankful that so many elected officials are standing with us on this important issue and we encourage more elected officials to sign their name to the open letter standing with the Boy Scouts. But this issue is not over today no matter how what the result is. We have to move forward and continue to be engaged as there continue to be attacks on such timeless values and moral principles that the Boy Scouts stand for. Thank you, Jonathan. You know, in Texas, we're not afraid to acknowledge with reverence that the principles that we stand on were given to us by our Creator God. We didn't make them up. We didn't write them. The Boy Scouts didn't uh, fabricate them. They adopted them. And those principles, as Jonathan said, which are timeless, emanated literally from the very Word of God. And because of that, we're not standing here against or for, we're standing here on those principles. And as we open this up, we know that we can't win this through simply sheer debate, logic, and reason. Because those principles emanated and were given to us by our loving God, we call out to Him today. It is His standard, not ours. And it is ultimately His hand that will move on the hearts of men. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. My name is Ian Wilkinson and I'm from Troop 78, Wiley, Texas. All right. Make a line. We want everybody to get a chance to come up here. Introduce yourself. Are we next? Come on. I'm Grant Cook, and I'm from Troop 226, Plano, Texas. All right. All of our scouting families across the state of Texas and our great nation that are with us in spirit and have shown us their support this last week, and we're thankful for their support as well. I'm going to ask all of our scouts here in attendance and our leaders to join us in the Scout Oath and the Scout Law. Please join me in the Scout Oath. On my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country. And to obey scout law, to help other people at all times, to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. And please join me in the scout law. A scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, <laughs> obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. Thank you, scouts. I'm proud to serve as the Lone Star District Chairman in the Circle 10 Council. As an Eagle Scout myself from my time as a youth, now as a, as a scouting father and as a scouting leader, I'm so thankful for the 100-year legacy of the Boy Scouts of America. We have a strong tradition and we have a, a, a very strong heritage and that's built on the values of the Boy Scouts of America that we have, that we have upheld for so many years. This last week, is, as this story has dominated the news cycle, we have heard from so many in our scouting family and all across our nation as they've expressed their opinions on this matter. I'm so thankful that our scouting family has risen up to, to be heard. Through this last week, many fine folks in our communities have reached out to me to let me know that they disagree. They disagree with my stance. They disagree with my statement. They disagree with our scouting family and the stance that we have. And I say to them, I appreciate that. And I'm so thankful we live in a land where we can respect your right to disagree. But we ask you to respect our right to uphold the values that we have held for over a hundred years. Yes. Morality does not equal bigotry. Yes. Sexuality really has no place in scouts. Amen. Everyone has a sexuality. But we are not about that with the Boy Scouts of America. But the risk of compromise 
for our boys and for our leaders is too great. Please, BSA, hold to the standards. Father in heaven, Lord, once more, it is in the name of Jesus that we bow in thy presence. Lord, we thank you so very much for the tender mercies that you've shown each of us. And Lord, we say because you stood, we stand today. Because you stood for that which is right, we too stand for that which is right. Because you stood, we stand for what is morally right. We stand, Lord, because we ask that you will keep us clean. Keep us all on the straight and narrow. Because you stood, bless us to do as you did. Okay, so we, ju th we just received this. This is breaking news. The Boy, the Boy Scouts of America have re released a statement. The volunteer officers of the Boy Scouts of America's National Executive Board has concluded that due to the complexity of this issue, the organization needs time for a more deliberative review of its membership policy. To that end, the executive board directed its committees to further engage representatives of scouting memberships and listen to their perspectives and concerns. They will assist the office, officers work on a resolution on membership standards. The approximately 1,400 voting members of the National Council will take action on a resolution at the national meeting in May 2013. So ladies and gentlemen, the Boy Scouts of America, according to this statement, have decided not to change their policy at this time. I want to conclude with just a few thoughts. Um, this issue is not over. Um, the victory, so to speak, that came today is temporary. There will be a vote in May. Let us not wait until the last day in April and then get involved. And I say that for myself as well. I am just amazed and impressed and encouraged so much by with such short notice, within just a amount of a days, four or five days, all of these people were able to come together and so many leaders were able to respond. Just think what we can do in three months. Woo! Yeah. It starts today. Yeah.